are more questions tonight after the A's moved one step closer to building that new ballpark in Nevada. Yesterday, the Vegas Stadium Authority approved lease development and non-relocation agreements, meaning for 30 years, the A's can't ditch Nevada. This sets the stage for the A's to get the necessary approvals from Clark County officials before breaking ground in the spring on that 30,000 seat ballpark. Already the cost has increased $250 million, now going to cost $1.75 billion. That's why some people remain skeptical the team will actually be playing in Vegas by the spring of 2028 as scheduled. Former A's executive Andy Dolich has several questions. Increases in stadium cost. It's definitely going to happen. It will be well over $2 billion. Where's that money coming from? When is John's one point question mark going into a bank account um, so that they can start this? And the lack of outside funding, the A's have talked very specifically of bringing in other investors. Uh, this has been out there in the market for a long time uh, by professionals trying to sell it. And do we have any other big names that have been attached to this? At this point, no. That's another major question that I would have. Sacramento A's, anyone? As part of the construction, the Nevada legislature has approved the spending of $380 million in public money to help pay for this thing. 